Hi, welcome to EcoPower's foldable solar panel instruction video. In this video we will cover the following topics regarding the foldable solar panel series, which include connecting the foldable solar panel, charge controller basics, reverse polarity protection, proper panel handling and setup, accessories, changing polarity, and making a 200 watt system with our 100 watt solar panels. The information provided in this video may be applied to all of the panels in the foldable category, which will be listed here on the left. The 105 watt foldable solar panel here is a tri-fold solar panel with each panel at 35 watts that combine to make a total of 105 watt output. Included with this product is a 10 amp LED charge controller. So let's go ahead and begin with the first topic. When attempting to charge a battery with a solar panel, please be sure to follow these steps. First, make the connections with your charge controller to your battery. Connect the red alligator clip to the positive terminal and the black alligator clip to the negative terminal in this order. The reason for connecting in this order is because the charge controller can operate with both a 12 or 24 volt system. The charge controller must first recognize the battery voltage before the solar panel is exposed to the sunlight. This will ensure that the charge controller operates at the appropriate voltage range. Next step would be to unfold your solar panel using the included legs on the back to adjust as needed into the sunlight. The charge indicator on the charge controller will display if the connection was successful and the battery has been charging. At this point, if the charge controller displays a low voltage error, but a good battery voltage has been tested with a voltmeter, it may be possible that the steps discussed here were not executed correctly. To correct this issue, simply disconnect the charge controller from the battery, remove your alligator clamps, cover up your solar panel, and repeat these steps back from step one. When observing the indicators of the charge controller, their meaning and function will depend on the model being used. In this video, I will discuss the basics of the 10 amp EPEVER LS1024EU charge controller. As the viewer, your model will depend on which foldable panel you purchase. So this particular model is a PWM charge controller equipped with LED indicators, while others may have an LCD screen. So once the connection between the battery and the charge controller have been made, the charge controller will power on. Please note that the charge controller does not have independent power, and it must be connected to the battery in order for it to be operational. So observe the LED indicators here. Once the proper connection has been made, the load LED will be lit green. Once the MC4 connectors here are plugged together and the solar panel is exposed to sunlight, the PV LED will be lit green. If the charge controller does not power on after connection, please revise that the correct polarity connection has been made. And to learn more about the different charge controllers, including the difference between PWM and MPPT, please follow our channel for future videos. In the event that a reverse polarity connection is made, there is no need for concern. The system will not experience any damages and will not power on until the connection is corrected. All of our charge controller models are equipped with reverse polarity protection for peace of mind. There is also no need to worry about short circuiting, as the charge controller will not accept power from the solar panel until the battery connections are made first and set up properly. When unfolding the solar panel, be sure to lay the panel on a flat surface. Go ahead and place one palm on this end, and with the other hand, firmly grip and pull on the Velcro until it releases. Then you can go ahead and unfold each panel to reveal the entire solar panel. Go ahead and pull out and adjust each leg. Once they're out, you can set them to the desired angle to attract as much sunlight as possible. If the solar panel does need to be repositioned, please go ahead and hold it firmly from the top or fold it back up to relocate it. It's important that you do not hold the solar panel in a way that puts pressure onto the solar cells here. Otherwise, they may crack and reduce the efficiency of the solar panel. The solar panel connections can be modified with different adapters to charge other products as well. Available for purchase are the following adapters. We have MC4 to SAE, MC4 to Freon for RV use, 
MC4 to 5.5 mm for our 150 watt solar generator, and finally MC4 to 8 mm for the 220 watt solar generator, the 440 watt solar generator, and finally our new Eco Power solar freezer. Depending on the model of your RV, the polarity of the included solar input sockets may be reversed. If this is the case, it is required to change the polarity of the Anderson connectors on the output of our solar panel products in order for it to function properly. Please be sure that the following steps apply to your RV, as it is not necessary for everyone to change the output polarity. To start, we're going to need a flathead screwdriver and an Anderson to SAE connector. Each connector has a small metal tab, which can be depressed, allowing you to pull the cable out from the Anderson connector head. From here, simply reverse the power leads and insert them back into the Anderson connector until the tabs click into place. Please note that the wire with writing is positive, while the all black wire is negative. Once the Anderson connector has been flipped, you can avoid the issue of reverse polarity and use our solar panels with your RV properly. If more power is necessary to run your system, this 100 watt model solar panel can be upgraded to a 200 watt system with just some simple wiring. It is first necessary to obtain a second 100 watt panel for the entire system to total out to 200 watts. These two panels must be connected in parallel in order to function properly. Please note that only one panel will come with all the required accessories, while the other will come as just a standalone solar panel. To make a 200 watt system, you're going to want to go ahead and connect the positive terminal from one panel to the positive of the other, as well as the negative to the negative. The proper adapters for these connections should be included. These panels are now connected in parallel and ready to produce 200 watts of power. In this video, we have provided information on the foldable solar panels. I hope this video has been helpful, and if you have any questions regarding the products discussed in this video, just go ahead and follow the links below. You can contact our tech support line, or you can send us an email to tech at Thank you for watching, and be sure to follow us on social media and subscribe for future videos.